Hello all and welcome to another Kevin Entertainment video. It's Art here with, with the book re-review for On What Grounds by Cleo Coyle. It's the first book in the Coffee House Cozy Mystery Book Series. It was also the October 2024 Book Club book pick for my in-person book club. Um, does it stand up to a reread? Yes. In a lot of ways it does. I like the description and the coziness of the coffee shop, the blend. Uh, I, I like the... I like the main character, Claire. And I like the cast of characters in this small coffee shop in the middle of one of the big, biggest bustling cities in the world, uh, New York City. She makes a quaint, cozy um, environment and she does it well. I liked it a lot. There are a lot of things I don't like about the book. I don't like that the... Uh, how best to put it? I don't like that the... Um, the the culprit isn't really, rev isn't really led up to or hinted at throughout the book. It's kind of uh, ramrodded in and kind of railroaded in in the solution that's still a problem it's still a bit fluffy and a bit over fluffed and a bit um i'm trying to think of the word um there's a lot of filler would be the best word in the book there's a lot of good things too i like that the recipes are in the back of the book i like that they talk about coffee and she and Cleo Coyle knows so much about coffee. I enjoy that very, very, very much. I think that the book is a good palate cleanser. Is it going to win like best book of the year ever on this channel? Probably not. Is it going to be a cozy recommendation for somebody who's new to cozies? Yes, I stand by that. It was my first introduction to cozies. And I still enjoy the book for a lot of reasons. I like, um, I don't like how, and I said this before in my original review, but I don't like how uh, Cleo Coyle kind of treats the actual detectives who are solving the crime that is presented in the Cozy Mystery book. Hint Mystery, there is a um, crime to be solved, but I don't like how in the mystery itself, uh, the cops are presented as kind of bumbling idiots where our barista main character has to be the one to solve the crime and push. She's kind of like the Jessica Fletcher of the series where eventually if bodies keep turning up in the series wouldn't you eventually suspect her? That's what always struck me with Murder, She Wrote and it, it would strike me with any cozy series including uh, the Coffee House Mystery series is that if things keep happening around her you would eventually at some point have to suspect her. Now it would be easy to clear her but I think people would start to slowly like glean away from her to be honest with you. To be frightfully honest with you I think people would slowly glean away from her because she's got that Jessica Fletcher body's always turning up vibe to her and apparently even though she's a coffee barista which I'm not saying anything about coffee baristas but you've got detectives that were actually trained to be police officers you've got police officers you've got CSU uh, CSI CSU unit people that are trained in this field these are their professions and Cleo Coyle treats them as though they're unimportant. Now, I guess I understand that's to give the protagonist of the story something to do. I get that. And it's still fun. But to some degree, couldn't you have her, like, witness something or be around something or have to have where they come to her and she can help them solve the main clue or whatever? I understand it has to be this way this way to propel the story. I just think you could also uh, treat the 
officers whose profession it is way better and treat them like they have brains and common sense as well. But I do feel even though it's even though this series is set in New York City, one of the largest cities in the world, um, and one of the most busy, bus bustling, concrete jung jungles, as Thomas Sinclair coined, uh, I do think Cleo Coyle does a wonderful job making it a uh, a mystery that unravels slowly like a layer cake or layers of an onion. I think she does a, a I think Cleo Coyle does a wonderful job in um, building the mystery up and making the mystery mean something. And she, uh, Cleo Coyle does a wonderful job in making the quaint setting and the cozy setting so that you know you're diving in to a cozy mystery. I just think it's <laughs> it is certainly one of the better uh, cozy mystery series. I would recommend either the Coffee House mystery series, which this is, uh, the Bake Shop mystery series by Ellie Alexander, or even the Pen and Ink series by Ellie Alexander, or the but Crystal Davis, or no, that's. The Pen and Ink series by, is, is by Krista Davis. I love that series too. Um, that's enjoyable. So, what would I give it? On my own scale, it's still, will I read it only love it? I still think it's a great beginner cozy, cozy mystery because you get the quaintness quaintness of the coffee shop but you also get the bustling city of New York City so it's in a setting that you partly somewhat know to be perfectly fair um So it's a rate and own it level on my scale. It's still a 4 out of 5 on the Goodreads scale. Um, it's a 4 out of 5 everywhere on uh, the scale. It's it's very good, but you can tell it's the first. It's convoluted. It's a little bit disjointed. And, it, and it's got the ham-fisted or the shoehorned ending that kind of makes it eh. Now I know from personal experience that the series gets better and the series is a lot of fun but you have to start with On What Grounds because it's the first book that introduces the characters as it were. But until next time, leave in the comments down below what you, if you've read On What Grounds or, or what beginner cozy mystery, if you read cozy mysteries that you would read. I would also like to recommend either Sherlock Holmes or Hercule Perrault or Miss Marple. Those are all cozy mysteries. Uh, yes, I call Sherlock Holmes cozy mysteries. They are cozy mysteries. Uh, th there just wasn't a word for it. They are deductive reasoning, yes, but they are cozy mysteries. But in the leave your recommendation in the comment down below. And until and until next time, you know I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, 12:30 p.m. Central. 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Please ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And without further ado, happy reading. I'll see you again soon. And peace.